Hey YouTube, we are at Fort Myers, Florida at the Red Coconut. Check this out. So this is like where you camp. Is that not awesome? Um, so this is like the top end like place that you can camp at the Red Coconut. Um, and we don't have one of these front rows. Um, we are kind of like in the in the worst area of the Red Coconut. But but this is like like possible. This is like what is like the coolest thing. So this is Fort Myers Beach that we're at. Um, we are on, I think it's Escadado island or something it is a little island off uh, florida and uh this is what you see when you look out the window of your rv yeah like super cool so anyway i'll walk back up there so you can get like a view of it from going in the other direction so this is the first row of the campers so the campers that they allow here um, in this front row specifically are either motorhomes specifically that can drive in or travel trailers. Um, there are no um, fifth wheels allowed in this first row. And if you re noticed, um, everybody's pulled in forwards. They're not um, like backed into this. So the reason for no fifth wheels is there would be no way for them to actually get you um, in and out of the site because you'd have to actually be on the beach with your, uh, your dually. And they use a tractor to get the travel trailers in and the fifth wheels just um, drive in. So yeah. So this is us setting up on the beach. Um, we um, spent a large amount of time on the beach here at Fort Myers. So let's uh, jump over and uh, um, we traveled up here um, basically from uh, our trip to St. Pete. And uh, this is Grace right here on our way up here to the Red Coconut. We'll do a couple videos probably in Fort Myers and uh, this will be the first one um, of the, the batch. So this is us arriving and you can see the, see the trailer behind us. So first, maybe you're thinking that you don't see a trailer behind the Jeep. It's actually like 50 feet behind the Jeep. Um, they pulled in on a John Deere. So everybody that arrives here, you basically unhook at the um, office and then they bring your, uh, your camper in on a John Deere tractor. This place is super, super ridiculously tight. Um, it is so ridiculous, like it, um, it is crazy. Everybody's like on top of each other, just so ridiculously tight. But um, you are like right on a dog friendly beach. So here they are um, pulling our camper in and there's an Airstream over there. Yeah, they even pulled that one in. Um, the only people that uh, drive in um, with their camper, so to speak, will be the class A's and the class C's. And everybody else gets towed in like this. And this is the arrangement they have. I'm not really sure how they do the fifth wheels. Uh, there was not that many fifth wheels here. Um, and we are at the very, very, very back, um, probably like the worst spots they have um, in this campground. But the worst spots are still better than, than a lot of other uh, um, campsites. Look at them turns that, awesome. that they can make. It is pretty ridiculous, um, the turning radius on this uh, tractor. So I think that they magically know where these trailers are supposed to go. Because what was kind of odd is um, you can see him backing it in and everything like that. He basically perfectly backs it in like the very first time. And we didn't get a level out while he was backing it in. For whatever reason, I didn't even think to do that, but I probably should have. Um, but to like the magic, um, he got it in and, and it was perfectly level, like side to side. I mean, I didn't have to really do, do anything with the, with the backing in. The block, the one guy's carrying is my block. Um, that I always put a block under the front um, of, the, of the trailer. So this is a, the service that you get um, with the Red Coconut. They always um, really back everybody in. The only people that don't get backed in like this are the people that show up like in the middle of the night when the office isn't open. And then they have to try to figure out how to get into this campground. And I've seen some pretty amazing stuff where people show up and, you know, people have to move their campers like class A's are pulling in their slides and stuff to make it so people can fit in. Um, it is just really, really um, tight here. So the, um, the camper that will be next to us um, later on, um, basically um, their slides came out like all the way up to that little concrete pad that you had there. So basically you get so close to each other that you can't even really put your awning all the way out. And I know all this sounds like really negative, but at the same time, like it is so cool here um, at Fort Myers being, you know, right on the beach. And uh, like I was saying, we are um, on the park side of the campground and not only are we on the park side, but we are on the 
um, the farthest um, site on the park side. So we are in R2. Um, if you were to look on a map to figure out like the sites and you can see right here, um, it's all nicely lined up and everything. So this is how we ended up um, having everything kind of set up. We saw the e-bike with us, we did the video on, and uh, they we're sporting the Christmas Corgi um, on the roof. So this is right before uh, New Year's Eve. And yeah, there's another Jeep uh, Gladiator um, right next to us. And they have the gigantic bullet that they pull. Um, it's a little bit overweight, I think they were saying, but they, they managed to pull it. So this is a road um, on the side of the campground. You kind of can get a view of the rest of the campground. So maybe there are some fifth wheels in there. Um, so obviously on some of them you can pull in right from the road, I guess, and, and just pull over the grass and, and, um, and get in there. But you can see how tight this place is. In front of us is Junkaroo. Um, it is a restaurant that is like right on the beach, which is kind of cool that you can just stumble your way over there and then um, stumble your way back to the campground. To the right is the entrance, in the, um, entrance to the beach. So here's uh, the Gladiator and they were um, leaving and this is like a couple days later or anything, but I wanted to just kind of show you some point of view. So the Jayco that you can see there, that's our trailer and uh, they're pulling out. And you can see like, there's basically a pole that he's having to kind of navigate around. So because there's a pole there, he has to be really yeah, super careful with, um, in the poles behind him obviously, with not uh, swaying out too much. And still like he's like basically over the the road just trying to to pull out that's kind of the common theme on the um on this side it's just um it's pretty tight um, but it's also you know really nice also so there are quite a few jeeps here um there was another jeep that you can see um in the other side of the frame it just there. Were, there was so many jeeps in Florida. Um, it, it was kind of ridiculous, and they were saying that like there. they see jeeps so there. often that they almost like don't even wave at them anymore because you always have to have your hand out the window just like nonstop. So there's a fifth wheel there, um, and as you can see, I mean, it, 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 he's all the way up to the, the road. So they uh, they pack him in tight here. Um, they have shuffleboard here. Um, I don't think I, we did any shuffleboard or any, any videos. Lots and lots of people with bicycles, as you can see. And once again, this is an example of a, uh, a site. And this is on the, on the park side. So there isn't much of a sunset, um, mainly because of the way everything is oriented. If you want to see the sunset, you have to go down to the beach. And we did go down to the beach and do um, sunsets and everything. And like I was saying, this is just the first video of the set that we're going to release. And all the Christmas lights are um, obviously there for Christmas. So this is down the strip, um, the main strip that they have. There's all these little restaurants um, that you can just either walk to or bike to, but it was just real, really a common theme to bike to. Some of them are dog friendly, some of them are not dog friendly. The Tiki, um, Leaky Tiki um, bar is completely dog friendly and they'll even run a dog bowl out for the um, for the dog, which is cool for Grace, for our dog. And so uh, this was like where we had lunch one of the days. So they had all these $1 bills all over the place. So $1 bills, um, people had written their names on stuff and then they stapled them to the bar. Um, it looked like a local thing to do. Um, we ended up not doing that. Um, they didn't even offer, but uh, we kind of we probably could have done it if we got a $1 bill out. And uh, it's right on the boardwalk, like I was saying. So this is closer to the the, the bridge where the main touristy area is and there's the, the large dock kind of jetting out. They don't allow dogs on the, on the dock over there, but I did walk over there and, and do some little camera footage. And there is... Um, a uh, sandbar out here on the left um, and sometimes the sandbar is so high that it actually comes out of the, the water. So this is a view looking down the beach from that, uh, that dock and you can see um, all the people that are in here having, um, that are eating. 
So this is a restaurant that we were in, and we had a, um, a corner spot, fortunately, which was really nice. And while we were here, um, we did have some drinks, and uh, this was, I don't remember the, what, what it was that we had, but, but they did have the, um, the shots that were kind of um, there to spice it up even more. Yeah, she was saying alcohol abuse with that with that uh, that arrow is. So they did have a live band, and this is a view from the live band. Um, Chasing Denver was a live band, and uh, they were pretty amazing. So if you're looking for a local band to support, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. So uh, um, facebook.com slash um, Chasing Denver. So we'll do a little driving tour. This is gonna um, show that you the inside of the red coconut on the on the park side. Once again, we have a lot more footage that we're gonna show of this um, cool campground that we'll, we'll throw it in the next video probably because we, we were here for a, little, a while. So anyway, um, this is the main strip, but this is the other side of the main strip. This is coming from Lo Lover's Key and there's a Pubix grocery store and residential houses and some hotels and stuff on this side and a gas station right there, there's a 7-Eleven. And then you come up on the red coconut, which we're about to come up on. This um, intersection right here was earlier in the video, and then um, after it is the red coconut um, right here on the right, and to, to the left is um, where we started the video at, showing you um, the beach side. They have propane and ice on the right, and then this is where you drop off your trailer, and uh, the little uh, John Deere is kind of in that building there where they pulled at, um, your trailer from. The right hand side is where the shuffleboard is, and uh, there were some people doing shuffleboard, believe it or not. And quite a few of these spots are actually seasonal, believe it or not, um, like the ones that you can see that are built up on the left. Um, I think that they do maybe sublet or rent out some of the seasonal ones, I'm not 100% sure on that. Look how sharp these turns are and how narrow it is. I, like, I would just be scared trying to come through here with like something big. I mean really like it is really just seriously like one lane. So I know this looks like, uh, you know, class A everywhere, but uh, you know, it's not just class A. There's a, a car bin right there on the left. It's a toy hauler um, fifth wheel. And we did pass a couple of travel trailers. So, I mean, they do get some bigger rigs in here. But I would really probably feel comfortable if it was me just trying to be on that edge there where you can just pull it off the road. There's that Airstream. We are on the other side of the Airstream. Um, like I said, we are in the very, very back of the, the campground. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out. We will see you guys around to the next video.